Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of The New Critic, and today we're going to be looking at Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. So following the events of Bill and Ted's excellent adventure, a futuristic terrorist by the name of Chuck Denomalous, he is planning to alter history. He's not quite happy with how Bill and Ted's success as a band have, have affected the universe even though it was for the greater good. And his plan involves creating evil robotic versions of Bill and Ted, and this leads to all sorts of chaos. So getting right into the pros, first of all, this movie has a much larger budget than has more elaborate sets and on-set filming, most of which holds up pretty well today. Another thing I really liked is the introduction of Death, the Grim Reaper himself. Who knew he could be so funny? You might be disappointed to know that George Carlin's character Rufus isn't really in the movie as much, but, but if he was going to be replaced, they made the right choice with Death. And everything will make sense as to why he's barely in the movie anyway. Topped off with a great soundtrack, which includes God Gave Rock and Roll to You by Kiss. There's some returning characters like Missy, Jonathan Logan, which is Ted's father, and Joanna and Elizabeth, Bill and Ted's girlfriends. And I'm glad that they didn't simply rehash the time travel storyline from the previous movie. The performances are great, and there are some fun, exciting action scenes here and there. And of course, more air guitar sequences. Yeah, those will never get old. Now, this movie, unlike the previous movie, is not perfect because while I did enjoy the air guitar sequences, the movie relies a bit too heavily on them. You know, I kind of wish that they'd been used a bit more sparingly. Like I said, it never gets old. It will never get old, but sometimes less is more. Another thing is that while the practical sets have aged well, some of the visual effects haven't. You know, there's a green screen effect that involves ghosts or something like that. And yeah, I think they could have used a bit more fine tuning. Overall, this movie isn't as iconic as the first one, but I'm glad it does have a cult following now because it's still a great comedy and a great sequel, but kind of all short compared to the first one, but still, I enjoyed it, and I think you should definitely check it out, and on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it an 8. While it may not live up to the first movie, it's still a blast from beginning to end, and I would definitely recommend it. So yeah, that was my review of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Next time, we will be looking at Bill and Ted Face the Music. I have actually seen it as of this recording, and that'll be interesting to talk about. So again, thank you all for watching. Please like this video, share it, and subscribe. And Hit the notification icon and I'll see you soon. And remember, be excellent to one another and party on.